everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes on YouTube as well as AnneMakes.blogspot.com, the blog where I share lots of DIYs, how-tos, and other project tutorials for the various uh, companies that I work with, one of which is Cricut. And I today I have some happy mail to share with you. I received a big box of some wonderful products from Cricut uh, Provocraft in Utah. And I couldn't wait to share with you all the lovely goodies that I received. So here we go. I got some of their glitter tape. So for those of you who didn't know, uh, Cricut does make tapes, what we commonly call uh, washi tape or masking tape. They're decorative tapes. And they have them in these lovely, lovely glittery colors. They're just amazing colors. Um, and I just, I think I got every single one of them that they have. And I thought these would look so pretty displayed in my future new studio craft room slash office apparently they're gonna start building it this week i ho certainly hope so and uh so these are the tapes that i got uh the the writing is small so i had to put on my glasses to tell you what i got okay so i got the pink the pink one this one is rich red And this is Colorful White. It, sh it shimmers and picks up other colors. And this one is Black. They, they actually have simple names when you think about it. Uh, gold. Silver. I got two uh, different shades of this blue. This one is Teal, actually. The lovely Teal. A Light Blue green gold dark rose that's different from the pink and purple rich red so that's all the uh tapes that i got from them and i if i'm not mistaken that is actually all the colors that they have right now so, and everything that I am mentioning here is available uh, to you as well uh, through Cricut.com. And if you go to my blog, and I will also try to include some links below this video, they are affiliate links. So if you do click on those links and you purchase, I do get a small commission. So uh, from uh, my, um, I'm affiliated with uh, them. So. Thank you for that if you do that and but you're no no obligation and this is the bonded fabric blade and housing for the Cricut this is the blade that I need to use in my Cricut I have the I have the uh, very first the original Cricut I also have the Cricut Imagine and my the most recent model that I own is the Cricut Explore Air 2. And I can cut fabric with that one as well. I just need to make sure that there's um, a backing to the fabric. And using this blade will make for some very nice clean cuts. And if I use also the right mat for that. So when cutting fabrics, uh, on the Cricut machine. This is the best mat to use. It's the pink mat. Um, it has just the, the right amount of grip on it or adhesive. And if you use it in combination with the um, fabric blade, uh, you will get very nice results each time. So uh, that is what I got. So this is also the fabric grip mat, the 12 by 12. I also got another mat. This one is, this is the eight and a half by 12 mat. 
I just wanted uh, a regular size mat like this because I do have a lot of eight and a half size paper that I cut and uh, I just wanted a mat for that. So this is the standard grip. This fits in the uh, Explorers, uh, the Explore Airs machine, the Makers. It fits in all the uh, machines except the Cricut original that would be a little too big the rest of the items I have are mostly paper so I'm gonna get to that oh but first I want to show you this lovely lovely die I'm so looking forward to using this in my cuddle bug it is to make this lacy snowflake pattern I think it's so so pretty I'm gonna try to cut some thin felt with this too. see how that turns out I got some Hello Kitty paper. I love that. Hello Kitty Deluxe paper. And it's just so cute. Because if you watch my channel, you know I do love cats. And I just wanted to get this. Uh, so hopefully I can use some of this probably for my planner. I'm going to be working on my 2018 planner sometime in December so I'm hoping to uh, get some posts up for that definitely on they will be on my blog probably first and I will try to make videos of that as well so this is the foil acetate uh, metallic sampler uh, this is a new to me product I've seen it before but I've never tried it so it's acetate so it's like that clear plastic but it's foiled and it has different different designs it's got like these diagonal lines uh, stars and dots so it looks like fun to use um, and there's quite a lot in here actually there are 12 sheets in this package oh um I had asked for some cardstock and they did send it to me, so I'm very happy about that. This is, they sell bulk packs of cardstock uh, for 12 by 12. This is the rose color. It has some texture to it, and I just find that the cardstock is, is lovely. And they do uh, include recommendations for which blade and thickness to use with all the machines that are made by Cricut so 20 sheets of this 12 by 12 this lovely rose color oh here's another foil acetate bejeweled sampler uh, the same principle as before but these are just some different colors very lovely that's very pretty this will, this makes for lovely card overlays scrapbook page overlays um, planner uh, overlays or planner even like uh, as page dividers dashboards so many things you can do with this this is also uh, first time that I'll be trying this is the foil embossed paper this one is the gold in white uh, it's just lovely lovely paper these are the designs that are in the package this is quite the big pack. Uh, you, yeah, there are 12 sheets in here of this foil embossed paper. It is beautiful, beautiful paper. And, oh, this is the pastel version of the foil acetate that I showed you before. So this is acetate that's foiled, but this is in pastel colors. So it's, yeah, beautiful. I've got a lot of acetate to play with. And I also got the light pink cardstock, the, the bulk pack again, the 20 sheets. And so this will be helpful for my projects. I like pink personally. So uh, I'm replenishing my pink cardstock and also some white because I do use tons of white for my projects. So I'm happy to get this uh, 20 sheet bulk pack of white 12 by 12 paper. It's, it's nice and thick. It cuts beautifully in the Cricut machine, also in the Cuddlebug. 
This is glitter cardstock. Fabulous 12 by 12 sheets. Of gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous glitter cardstock. I've used some of this in some other projects and I just love it. I love how the Cricut just slices through this and cuts it beautifully like a knife through hot butter and or a hot knife through butter and yeah it's just the colors are amazing so um i love this stuff and what else i also have oh the poster board this is new to me also i've never had this one before it's poster board in metallic color size 12 by 12 it's perfect uh, perfect for lots of DIYs, lots of crafting. Love the ideas at the back of the packaging. Look at that. The idea here is to make these houses. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can see all these projects um, on the Cricut.com website at the, at the uh, Cricut Design Space. And, oh, printable sticker paper. Yeah, I want to make some of my own stickers for my uh, planners. And so this is just sticker paper. So you get in here, you get in here 12 sheets. All of these are 12 sheet packs. Uh, these are like eight and a half by 11. So they fit in my printer, no problem. I can print these and uh, I can print and then cut. If I, there's a print and cut features also available on the kit design space. So I can uh, choose a design, let's say, or, uh, incorporate one of my own designs even and make some labels have them send the information to the printer that will print them and then take the printed sheet insert it into my Cricut Explore Air Machine or any Cricut uh, any Cricut um, that hooks up to the Cricut design space and the Cricut maker as well and it will then cut my uh, labels it's, it's wonderful and finally oh yes uh, dark rose I thought I've got to try this dark rose glitter cardstock it is a dark rose it is woohoo but there's uh, 10 sheets in here they're 12 by 12 and I know that the glitter cardstock is really good quality and it cuts really well. So I look forward to using these supplies to make some uh, projects. Hopefully in December, if not, it will have to wait till the beginning of January because as you know, I am in the process of moving and uh, building a new craft room. Uh, so that is my happy mail from Cricut today. I hope you enjoy this as much as I maybe maybe you can enjoy this as much as I did but I, I love getting new products from Cricut they're just my my favorite and um, I hope you like this and that you will comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching take care of yourself and I'll see you after the next video bye